Good evening. Welcome again to our advanced Excel series of lectures. So this is Mr. Orvin again, your lecturer. Um, now we're going to discuss lesson number eight, uh, which is manipulating text or words. Uh, but basically when you say text, these are characters uh, from our keyboard. Uh, combination of characters, sometimes it's a word, sometimes it's a set of words. So as long as there are characters, which is actually uh, even space as a character, exclamation point as a character, and so on and so forth. So let's just go to our PowerPoint that I have loaded, particularly for this topic. Okay. So functions for manipulating text. Uh, these are the functions that we're going to discuss. Left, right, mid, trim, lower, upper, proper, find. We have length, replace, and concatenate. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of functions in Excel. Uh, in general and also in text okay or particularly for text so these are just the important ones that we're going to discuss again uh our time and our course is not enough to discuss everything about excel so you have to do uh your um your job in finding out some of these functions uh, and some of the features of excel Okay, so let's start with the first three. The first three are similar, uh, the left, the right, and the mid. It's manipulating or uh, the result of this are characters according to the length you specify. So you're just specifying where do we, uh, where are we going to get these characters, what position, okay? So left, if you want the character starting from the left, and then you're going to specify only the number of characters and then right if it is coming from the right and then mid if it is in the middle okay but it depends on the position sometimes mid can also be like a function of left because if you start at the number one so that means it always start from the left okay so let's uh end this uh uh presentation and let's go to our Excel, our example, the sample file that I shared. Okay, so this is our file. Uh, you can see here some of text uh, arranged by columns, first name, last name, position, position uh, in different uh, arrangement. And then we have email address, password, and so on and so forth. So uh, this is just an example of a table that we will manipulate for our Excel. Okay, so the first is left. So I'm going to use uh, hard coding again, equals left. Okay, so let me just see, open parenthesis, the argument is text. And the next is num characters. Okay, what is text? The one that we're going to manipulate. So let's say I'm going to use C2, the text inside C2, comma. How many characters from the left? So I will specify four characters. Close parentheses, enter. So what's the result? The first four characters of this P R E S. Okay, so that's the result. Okay, I hope you can follow. Now, of course, we're going to go to the next function, which is right. Okay, so we're going to use the original text. I'm going to use C3 now. Okay, and then number of characters. Let me see, five, sorry. Okay, let's see the result. So here, this is the five characters from the right, S-E-L-A-S. So if you read it left to right, of course, it's going to be sales. 
and that's our left and right. Okay, so I hope you're, you can follow. It's very simple. Uh, now, if you copy it, if you copy the functions, of course, it's going to be applied since we use uh, cell referencing in our formula. C3, this will become C4 here, it will become C5 here. Okay, so anyway, let's go to the other function, which is the mid. So it will start from the middle. Let's use C4 and then start number. Where do you want to start? I will specify five or six. Okay, so counting one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm starting here at letter P. How many characters? I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what will it uh, give us. Okay, it gave us precedent. Okay, true enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. You started in the sixth character, which is letter P of this, and then you ask for nine characters after that, or starting from that, uh, from that character, letter P. R E S I D E N and then P. Okay, so that's our first three characters. P R E S because we use left. Sales because we use right from here, five characters. And then mid starting from the sixth character and then asking for nine characters to be returned. Okay, so that's the first three uh functions okay so let's go back to our powerpoint presentation okay the next is stream okay it removes all spaces in the text except space between words so everything that will be excess of spaces we it's going to remove except uh, space between words so it's going to uh, keep that so let us go back to our excel okay so as you can see here let me just delete the previous example and let me go back here so i prepared already this column to have like spaces that are unnecessary okay so as I told you earlier, it will keep spaces in between words. And even this uh, uh, word and a dash, it will keep that as long as there is a space in between them. Okay. So let us have that function, trim. Okay. And then specify D2. Close parenthesis, and that's it. C. The spaces before the word was removed. And if you copy that, okay, everything will be arranged. Okay, but remember, trim will remove only spaces before and after or in the middle of the word. Uh, the set of words, okay, but it will keep one space in between two words. Okay, so don't uh, uh, don't um, forget that. Okay, then I will go back to our PowerPoint. Uh, let's see the different functions on the next slide. Lower, upper, and proper. So what's this? Lower space, a uh, lower case upper case and proper case i think you are familiar with this when you say lower case all the letters are small like this when you say upper case all this uh the letters will become capital okay proper when you say proper sentence or proper case uh the first letter is capital the rest will be small Okay, so let's uh, try to apply that to our Excel file or use that example, Excel file that we have. 
Okay, so let me just give an example here. I'm going to use a uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the first name equals when you say lower or I changed my mind. Let me have again C2. Okay, and then close parenthesis. Enter. You can see that all is small letter now. Let's apply that to the other cells. Okay, all the words are small letter or lowercase okay let's change the lower to upper okay you can see uppercase all letters are capital and of course uh, I don't have uh, an example that is clearly going to be okay, but let's try this. Uh, C3 uh, equals proper, and then this one. You can see that the first letters of the words are capital letter. So this one here is a small letter P. Uh, it changed uh, from our function, it changed it to capital P. So all first letter will be capital if you use proper. Okay, so let's say uh, I will change this to human process manager. And I'm going to copy the function. Okay, you can see the difference. Okay, human resource manager here, all small letter, proper uh, function for that. It changed all the letters, all the the words, all the at uh, the beginning of each word were changed to um, capital letter or uppercase. Okay, I'm going to end the video for now, the first part, and I'm going to continue our next lesson. Okay, uh, watch out for our next video. So, see you.